I actually, I feel like I'm a little late again, but maybe not. Maybe it's still within a week span time. I haven't been keeping track, but I did film a couple of days ago, but then I was like, this is absolute nonsense. I mean, normally I'm nonsense, but it was even worse nonsense than usual, and I just couldn't put you guys through that. So, this is really going to happen. You're actually going to be watching this magnificence, I promise. <laughs> and to start off, my favorite thing is not a tangible thing. My favorite thing is that the Broncos are going to the Super Bowl! So exciting. I'm stoked. Yeah. Can you tell? Super excited. That was a close game. It was really intense. The last bit of it. So it was really, really exciting that we kicked ass and we're going to the Super Bowl. Kind of terrifying, though, considering how... The other game went and, you know, uh, pretty intimidating. But for those of you, some of you, who don't give a goddamn about football, <sighs> my other favorite thing is Lonely Creatures. And only one of them is right here. Say hi, Ruger. But... I'm just really glad I just had one go through a dental surgery and I'm really glad that the anesthesia went just fine so I'm super excited and they are my second favorite thing. Well they're my favorite thing before that but you know they're around all of the time so they're always my favorite thing. So it's nothing new and nothing special but for those of you who don't give a crap about football that's my favorite thing. <sighs> Okay, so like I said before, I'm skipping drawing time because I am just awful at it and it just wasn't working out. So we're not doing that anymore. I'm just going to jump right into rambling about something and today I'm kind of feeling like talking about kids shows. I've been in the morning getting ready for work or on my days off, putting on YouTube old shows like Rainbow Bright or even as new as Kim Possible. And some of the ideas of these shows are like, that's not even plausible. Like Kim Possible, she is like a famous, hero like a James Bond but famous not top secret like she's in the newspaper and stuff all the time yet in high school she's not even that cool yeah she's a cheerleader but she gets shit from Bonnie and all of that all the time like if someone in my school was like a super spy superhero they would be treated like a super spy superhero like everybody would be like you were so badass I worship you, you know? Like, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I'm sure they want to make her like a normal girl, navigate the ups and downs of high school, but it's just, it's not plausible that she would be famous for the work she does and still get treated like she does. But I guess it's kind of cool for Kim that she still gets to be like an everyday chick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does anybody really care about the plot of Kim Possible? I do, but does anybody else? And oh my gosh, I was just watching season one of Rainbow Bright, and apparently just the origin story is that Rainbow Land and Rainbow Bright gives all the color to the world, but only Rainbow, there's the color kids, but only Rainbow gives the color to the world. What is the point of the color kids? Who, I don't know. Just, maybe you have to watch the show further on. Maybe rewatching season one isn't helpful, but one person for hundreds of years bringing color to the world. That sounds like a goddess to me, and are all these like, I don't know, it doesn't make sense, but it was like 
were people on drugs when they made this cartoon? It's a good cartoon, but it's also kind of psychedelic. Were they on drugs? Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> That's some pretty short rambling, but I couldn't really think of a good topic to talk about. And seriously, you guys, you guys, leave a comment. What should I talk about? Tell me what to talk about because I don't know. I have no idea. Please, please help me. And today, I'm actually prepared for story time. I'm pretty excited about this. This is from Free Comic Book Day 2015. And, of course, my favorite superhero of all time. Because, you know, just the big blue yonder and all of that. And I'm going to read just a little, little page. Let me find something with... Hmm... And where there's life, evil tries to take hold, and lines are drawn, and sometimes you get hit by a truck. What? All of this would have had to happen before we met. Are you remembering a time before, before Evanston? Where? The, uh, insane asylum you escaped from? Can't say I've heard of it. And what does any of this have to do with our imminent death? What do you mean? <laughs> Just the randomness of this comic cracks me up. Evil tries to take hold and then you get hit by a truck. I just love this. I love the tick and I love Arthur and I love it all so much. Well, that's it for today. Like I said, real short video. Have a marvelous, marvelous week. See you guys next time.